God is always in control, period. All right, so today is Saturday and I'm finally des deciding to um, make this wig. So last week, well, yeah, last week and on my last video, I showed that I went to this place to buy some hair, which was this place right here. So I bought, and usually I at least go like 18, 20, but I wanted something like not too long, like real cute and short kind of. So I have two 16 inches. Yeah, I bought two 16 inches. And um, see that? This is just straight. And then we go to 16 and I bought one 14. And then I bought a closure and this is a 12 inch. Yeah, this is a 12 inch straight closure. So it was so hot in here. I'm going to bleach this closure and I'm going to dye. Um, I'm gonna dye all this hair jet black. So I just came from, well, let me show y'all the hair first. Let me show you the, um, the 14 inch. What is something's wet? So this is the 14 inch, really nice, it's actually look jet black on the, on the camera it looks black but it's the natural, uh, that natural color so you can see like brown, brown streaks. So it's really nice hair actually, like it feels like, look at that, there is no shedding so far like I've, I've opened this already before and ran my fingers through it so there's no shedding at all like there's no shedding so this is the 14 the only issue I kind of had was um like I'm used to getting my hair either off certain well I haven't really ordered hair online in a long time because when I was back home in Florida I went to a certain hair store and got all of my bundles like Every time I wanted to make a wig, I went to this hair store. So with this, I have the closure. The only issue is, like you, you can see that. I can see through it. Like, so I should not be able to see my, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because usually I just pluck the hair myself and i can see if it was like plugged on the edges but it's not it's kind of thin within the middle and the reason why i have an issue with this because i am parting this going straight back so yeah i need it to be as thick as possible so that way i have room to make mistakes but when it's this thin it's like so if you don't get it right the first time like it looks good it looks like you know put it on my hand and you can see the part, I guess, but I'ma figure it out. I just have to take my time. So that's what I spotted, just like opening the hair or whatever. Um, How much was this? I really don't care about sharing the price, like it's just hair. Um, and yeah, it's just hair. So for these three bundles in this closure, it was 173. So that's, to me, that's, that's pretty good. You get in three bonus of the closure. That's really good. The two 16 inch was 70 bucks a piece. Yeah, the two 16 was 70 bucks a piece. And then the, wait. Yeah. And then the 14 inch was $56. And then the closure. Oh, I got a discount. Something was on, on sale, honey. Closure was 60, which I'm used to getting a closure for like 40 bucks back home, but that's just what I'm used to. Um, So yeah, that's how much I paid. I paid 173 for all of them. 
and this wasn't like really a sale or anything these are the regular prices except the frontal and this is just the um if you can see that this is like an overview of like their prices and what they give you when you go so that's all of that jazz or whatever then like a little brochure hair tips oh and all that jazz yeah so i have the water on the stove boiling right now because i'm going to dip all three bundles in the water with the dye i only got two boxes because hopefully I, this is enough but um yeah so yeah so i have oh that's nice look at that so i have two 16s and a 14. so i went to the hair store and i got i usually do revlon but they didn't have any revlon so i just got um what is it uh clairol natural black i did get something that was darker but it looked kind of like that real black it almost looked like a hint of shine or silver i don't know but i got these two right here for to dye so i will be using these to dye the hair um i picked up a pack of the quick blue because i do have the other powder um bleach powder but I just want to try something new because I don't think that one works like the best. So I'm like, let me pick this one up so I can don't have to make too many mistakes on this uh, closure. And then I got two hair caps. I got a wig cap to actually sew the hair on. And then I got, well, a mesh dome. I actually had a wig cap to put on my head once I put the wig on. Usually I don't use these. I just put it on my head. But depending on how loose or tight it is i may or may not use these caps um i have this is stuff i already had in my um closet in my bathroom i have the shimmer light shampoo and this is you i'm using this for my closure so just so um it can help get all like that the bleach out of the tint or the bleach out of the lace or whatever and also i'll be using these two for my lace as well and then i also already had this in the uh closet and this is for the bleaching portion of it and of course you'll need i have one of these already a lot of this stuff i already had because i'm just i always make my own wigs so we're gonna get started because i'm rambling so hopefully it turns out okay so let's um go ahead and start dyeing the hair <laughs> but it's black natural black so I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for a little bit longer and then I'm gonna take it out all right I'm just go ahead and rinse these out condition them in this water let me get ready to take the um, rubber band off in a minute but and also disclaimer this is my sink my hair so if you think any of this is unsanitary that's okay <laughs> because it's clean i cleaned it and even if it's not it's i'm the one who had to put it in my head so go ahead and keep rinsing these out 
and then the next step I will start dyeing or I'll start bleaching my closure and after I bleach it I'm gonna go ahead and dye it as well so I'll be back when I start doing that this is what putting on the condom feels like sheesh louise alright um I don't think I need all this. I haven't used this in a minute. Alright, so I'm just gonna pour. They're not gonna mix. Thicker, oh honey, boo boo. Uh uh. A thicker consistency. But I know half common sense, so. And, okay, that's me. It was at this moment that he knew. He this is, as you can see, how it's looking. It's not really straight across, and you can't really tell either because, yeah, it's a little, it's a little ratchet right now. But it's it's gonna come. It's gonna come together. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna just keep plucking the parts that I want going and then we gonna start sewing it down as you can see the hairline is looking better already <laughs> Hey guys, so this is the finished look of my hair. Um, it turned out really good. As you can see, it is jet, jet black. Um, some of the things I didn't really show on camera was I did um, take out the thread from like some of the top pieces and kind of glue it down just so it can be extra flat. Um, what else? I'm, that's pretty much it. Oh, well, I did go in and like, I mean, the dipping method worked, but I wanted, I, you know how you see like little pieces of brown and I was kind of being OD. I went in and added like a little um, more dye on the hair, but overall it's really nice. As you can see, it's kind of a layer in a sense because like I said, I have a 12 inch closure, um, 114 and then 216. It's actually fairly thick. You just can't tell by like this angle, but as you can see the hair looks really good these the ends still look pretty good um let me turn around for you guys so you can see how all right so this is the back of the hair as you can see um the closure itself um i honestly like i said previously i like to have room to kind of make mistakes so when I did this, I didn't have yeah. It was a little it's a little turned up at the top. You can't really tell because I finessed it a little bit. Um yeah, to me it's a little turned up. But overall, it looks good. It looks really good. I love the jet black. Um I have a lot of flyaways because that's just, you know, whatever. I cut cuz I cut the hair a little bit, but this is the final product and I absolutely love it. If, disclaimer, and I've made plenty of disclaimers in this video. I am not a professional. I'm not a hairstylist. I'm not certified. Nothing. So if I'm doing something that may be wrong, it's okay because it's just going on my head. So I just want to say that. Um, but overall, I really like it. I haven't made like a... Um, I haven't sewn a wig in a... In a it's been a minute. So... It's nice. I like it. Um, yeah, I gotta get used to it because I haven't worn wigs in a minute. I've just been rocking like natural, my natural hair, slit back, and also like braids and protective styles as well. But really, really cute. And 
I guess that's it. I'm in the video here. I hope you all enjoyed this little tutorial on how I achieve this wig look. And um, if you want to see more videos like this, I mean, just let me know. I guess this is considered a beauty video or whatever the case may be. But if you want to see more videos like this, let me know. I may be doing another wig because I want to have another wig on hand that I could, you know, throw on when I feel like changing up my look. But if you want to see more beauty, makeup, hair whatever just let me know and um i'm really enjoying making these videos obviously we do have december coming up and there is you know everyone knows about vlogmas if you're on youtube and i possibly will be doing vlogmas just a way to get my following up because when you're consistent people see your videos more often people you know that's just what i plan on doing so i may participate in vlogmas i just have to see what my schedule is looking like and if i'm able to really push out a video every single day if, if not every day i'll probably do a vlogmas but it would be like weekly so it won't be like vlogmas 31 how many days in december how many days in december i probably won't do like each day if i can't but i may do vlogmas week one vlogmas week two vlogmas week three and things like that so it's kind of it'll be similar to what i'm doing now but yeah so like i said thank you so much for watching my video i hope you all enjoyed this little look and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and thank you for rocking with me like i don't know like i'm just very appreciative like and I, first of all i'm feeling myself too let's just be real um i'm really feeling this look but like i said more videos coming look forward to videos every wednesday um obviously today is monday oh sorry today is tuesday so this video will be going out tomorrow november 4th and today is the last day to vote don't forget to vote well at the time this come out people would have already known what the decision is but hopefully everyone went out to vote um yeah i'm not really into politics honestly but it is still very important to vote and you know let our voices be heard especially the millennials like let's go like we, we need to do something but um either way it goes no matter which way it goes just remember that god is always in control period so that's the only thing that really matters but still go out and vote be safe um and just keep god first what okay the people outside doing some other stuff but yeah thank you so much for watching this video thank you for rocking with me and i'm really enjoying this process of recording and things like that so yeah i will see you all in my next video stay up stay blessed peace